<laughs> Zion Williamson <laughs> gets Zion. my <laughs> tummy. Yeah. Now, normally I like to clown on the show. You know, I'm a troll, I'm a villain, whatever you want to call me. I'm the idiot behind the glasses, whatever you want to say, right? This one it can go either way. So, you have a team that drafts a guy that's supposed to be the savior of a franchise. He was told, everybody told us that he's going to be the guy. He's going to be the next LeBron to take the NBA into the next generation. And I said, wait, are we talking about the same guy that went to my school, Duke University? Because what I saw there was a big, overweight, athletic dude that broke shoes and got to the NBA. That's what I saw. Right? But no, no, no. I don't know anything because I'm not an analyst. I don't get paid by the NBA to be a scout. So I said, I think Ja Morant back then is going to be more generational than Zion Williamson. Said it. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I called Zion Williamson Sean Kemp out of high school. And people looked at me and said I was crazy. Okay. Let's fast forward now. He's in a league. And people love him. Ah, Zion Williamson. Even Nick fans wanted him. Please come to my team. We love you. We don't want RJ. We want Zion. Didn't happen. Right? Unfortunately. Man, did you guys dodge a bullet, Nick fans. Did you? Well, it gets better. Zion Williamson is in the league. People love to see him. Dunks and puts on all of these numbers. And people say, man, this guy is talented. But then he's not there anymore. So you got him for maybe 10, 15, 20 games. And you're like, man, that guy was good. I wonder what he's going to do next season. Comes back the next season. And he plays his 10, 15, 20 something games. And he's going again. And you're like, man, that guy, if he could just be able to stay on the field or the court for just a little longer, you know, maybe he can be the best. And then he goes ahead and he misses an entire season. They played over 100 games or close to 100 games that year and he didn't play that one. Ah, it's fine. He'll come back next year and he'll be better. Hey, we'll even have the organization put in a weight clause for him. Make sure that'll teach him. That'll teach him how to get right. That'll teach him to put the hot dogs down. That'll <laughs> teach him how to stop eating jambalaya. That'll teach him to stop pulling up to the Wendy's drive through and the guy that looks at him <laughs> says, Hey, Zion, you gonna get the same thing you got last night? That'll teach him. Well, I'm here to tell you that it didn't teach him anything. Because what ended up happening is that a hamstring injury took this man out for the entire season. Why, you say? Has nothing to do with maybe his body giving up on him or the like, genetics. The behemoth. It's the fact that people don't want to use the word. Well, I'm a truth teller here. I'm going to use it. Oh, tell him. He's a fat <laughs> these thoughts and opinions <laughs> somebody has to say it because if the people in his life are not going to say it if the people that are going to enable him are not going to say it i'm going to say it and when i continue to keep growing this podcast i will continue to sound the horn until he realizes that he is a fat Your body is giving up on you because you're a fat. Maybe if it got down to 230 pounds, maybe your hamstring can heal. But here's the part that really bothers me about Zion Williamson. It's not the fact that his body is giving up on him. 
It's not the fact that he doesn't want to lose weight. It's the fact that the organization has put all of these resources into a man that doesn't want to play for them. Imagine you're in a relationship with a person and you've put in all of these particular resources. You've put in all of this effort. You've put in all of this struggle to help them get to where they need to be. You've given them money. You've given them a house to live in. You've given them a car. You've given them all of this exposure. And they come around, they look around and they say, eh, I'm leaving. I don't think that you talk to me nice. All the things that you've done for them. That's what's going on right now is that Zion feels that I might be 97% healthy. I don't think that I can play because I need to be another 3% and help this team. This team that's scrapped by themselves without you to be able to get to this playoff. Right? They didn't make it. Who, what would have happened if you were there? But you do not want to try for them. So why should they try for you? So my thoughts are, get your fat off this team and go somewhere else. Be somebody else's headache. That's my dummy of the week. Dummy. Yeah.